Welcome to the sixth episode of Vault Log, a series all about Fallout Shelter, and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best outfits to take on quests, and I'll be giving my opinion on which one I think is the most effective. Now before we get too far into the video, let's actually take a look at how special stats relate to questing. Now our special stats are comprised of strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. However, just perception, agility, and luck are going to have a noticeable impact on questing. So, perception is going to slow down our critical hits, agility is going to increase our attack speed, and luck will decrease the amount of time it takes for our critical hits to charge up. Now we're going to be taking a look at these stats and how they apply to outfits. So the outfits we're going to be looking at have the PAL stats, which are perception, agility, and luck, and we have a heavy vault suit, expert jumpsuit, and lucky formal wear to test out in this video. So for our first field test here, we're going to be taking a look at how perception affects our critical hit speed, and our first two dwellers have gear that does not have any perception bonus, and our last one has that heavy vault suit which gives us a perception plus 7. And in this first instance here, you can actually see how much of a slowing effect that perception has on our critical hit speed, and in theory you would think that that would lead to more consistent high damage critical hits. However, I was able to land better critical hits with my dwellers that had a lower perception just because I was used to the increased speed. So my verdict on this would be to avoid the perception plus 7 gear if you can consistently land good critical hits with dwellers that have a low perception. If not, then go for the gear. Now in our second example, we're going to be taking a look at how agility affects our attack speed. So our first two dwellers have an expert jumpsuit equipped, and our last dweller has lucky formal wear, which gives luck plus 7. Now agility increases our attack speed, so our dweller with the luck plus 7 gear is going to have a slower attack speed than the two with the expert jumpsuits. So you're going to want to be paying attention to the interval of pause after they reload the weapon, and the dwellers with the orange jumpsuits are going to have a quicker firing rate. As you can see, they fire right after they reload, and then the guy with the brown suit on, he takes a little bit of a pause right after he reloads, so he's not firing as quick, and that also gives enemies a chance to stagger your character more. Now last but certainly not least, we're going to be taking a look at how luck decreases our critical hit charge time. So our first two characters have gear without any luck, and our last one has that luck plus 7 gear. So our character with the extra luck is going to have a quicker charge time for his critical hit. So as we speed through this vault, we're going to expect him to get his critical hit charged up first. And as you can see right here, it's charged. Now the actual interesting part to this uh, little clip here is the amount of time it takes after he's already used this hit for the other dwellers to charge up their hits. And as you can see here, it's actually taking the dwellers quite a bit of time to charge up their critical hits without any extra luck. And here we get our first critical hit and that actually came after 25 extra seconds of battle time. So luck plays a really big part in questing and that critical hit charge rate. So, after doing all these field tests and quite a few more on my own, I think that the best outfit for questing is the Expert Jumpsuit. The increased attack speed that it provides is a bonus that any quest team can benefit from. Now with that being said, you may want to check out the Heavy Merc gear. It's an outfit that features perception, agility, and luck, just in less powerful values. I'd still choose the Expert Jumpsuit, but the Heavy Merc set is definitely worth checking out. Now if you're looking to craft all these items in the most efficient way possible, you may want to check out the third episode of Vault Log, which you can find along with all the other episodes in my Fallout Shelter Vault Log playlist. And that will be linked in this video and the description as well. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Vault Log, and have a great day.